Is it time for some corgi hide and seek? Here we go. One, two, three, ready or not, here I come. Where could he be? Where is he? Where'd he go? I think I see him. Oh, we found you. Let's try this again. One, two, we found you. <laughs> Yay, I found you. <laughs> Why is your bed in the kitchen? <laughs> where, oh where could the Gatsby dog be? Do, 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 do. Check out all these awesome fans who posted their photo with the Corgi on Fleek calendar. If you don't have yours yet, you gotta get it. Free shipping, and you get Gatsby smiling at you for an entire year. Gatsby and I are actually going to be traveling with family for Thanksgiving time. My friends will still be shipping out the calendar while I'm gone. Yesterday, Gatsby and I did a few more of the <gasps> signed calendars. Check it out with Gatsby's paw print. Those are super, super special, so if you want one of the signed ones, make sure to pick those up. My next favorite picture from the calendar is April. Let's check it out right now. Check it out. Yeah, Gatsby, isn't that cool? I personally really like this one over here. We actually took these photos at the Palace of Fine Arts. The day that we filmed this, it was a super, super gloomy day. I had this idea as an alternate to do like a triptych photo. I think it turned out really good. Also, one of the easier photos to take, it was a three day shoot, 12 hours each day. But I think everyone can agree that they turned out really, really good. I'm really proud of it. Doing Gatsby. So make sure if you want to get your calendars, go to corgionfleek.com. It's like make the ball come out. And right now I'm gonna head off to my friend's aquarium store just to see what kind of corals he got. We have not added anything for a while, so I thought that today would be a great day to add something. We are running out of space though. See you there. <laughs> home with our corals. Let's check out what we got. Just note that everything right now is closed up. I got a giant kryptonite candy cane coral colony, a four color gold torch coral, more blondie zoas, rainbow incinerator pallies. You gotta place the corals based off of what they like for lighting and flow. Okay, I just placed everything inside of the aquarium. They are all closed up, but hopefully when they open up, they'll look really, really awesome. Right now I'm testing my water. It looks like a little science kit over here. Let me mark it down on my book. As you can see, alkalinity is still too low, so I have to start dosing that a little bit more. Everything else is good. And that's our little science test. Okay guys, headed off to the gym. See you there. Nice quick workout in. I'm gonna continue on with the day. It's such a gloomy day outside today. Fall slash winter weather. I thought I would share with you guys 10 things that you didn't know about me, Ryan. Let's get started. Number one, I like to get things done. And when I'm working on something, I tend not to like to take breaks. Once I get an idea in my head, it pretty much becomes a reality. I had this idea in my head that I was gonna get a corgi and I was gonna name the corgi Get. I decided this even before I had chosen a corgi. Number two. Before I was gonna get a corgi, I actually was planning on getting a Shiba Inu instead. I thought those were really cute dogs, especially when they were puppies, but I did change my mind when I started doing a little bit more research on Shiba Inu dogs and how they act more like cats, and also the fact that they are really hard to train. Number three. For food, I tend to like things pretty simple. My favorite kind of pizza is pepperoni pizza. My favorite type of ice cream is cookies and cream. And for french fries, I actually don't like to have ketchup on them. I actually like to just eat them plain. Is that weird? Number four. I took guitar lessons from third grade all the way up till 11th grade in high school. We had to play an instrument in school and they did not have guitars an option. So I decided to choose ukulele instead 
which coming from Hawaii, they had that as one of the options. It was a very easy time for me. <laughs> Number five. My first language was actually Japanese. This is because I had a Japanese babysitter and I still understand about 90% of everything in Japanese, but I have a really hard time speaking it now. I decided to take Japanese again in high school, and I was able to graduate and get credit for the IB Japanese exam. You have to speak for 10 minutes in Japanese about whatever the prompt was, and my prompt was, if I was a politician, how I would solve global warming. I don't even know how to say carbon dioxide in Japanese. Number six. Seven years ago while still in college over the summer, I used to work out with Zac Efron like every day. The gym was about as big as my apartment and we were the only two people in there every single day. I spoke to him a few times. Number seven. Very first job, I was a busboy at a diner. This was in high school. I was the busboy and I was a cashier and I was a terrible, terrible cashier. Everyone would bring their receipt up to me and I would have to process the bill. The computers back then, every single key had what the menu item was and since it's a diner, there were like a hundred different menu items. So there's like a hundred buttons on this thing. Everyone would order stuff that wasn't on the menu. So I always had a hard time like trying to find the key and I was getting all confused. And on top of that, I would have to take orders for people who did takeout orders by calling in. So while the line was growing super long, I would have to answer the phone and take an order. And a lot of the times I would forget to punch in the order and the people would come and be very, very angry with me. <laughs> and it didn't help that this diner catered to senior citizens and those people are incredibly grumpy when they're hungry. Number eight. Whenever I go to a Thai restaurant with my friends, I tend to only order fried rice. Thai food is like my least favorite food. I think it has something to do with the fish sauce and how it's like really smelly. Number nine. In college at Cornell, PE was a requirement. I decided to take horseback riding as one of my PE classes because I was like, why not? They have it. That sounds cool. <laughs> so if for some reason there's an emergency and we need to escape by riding a horse, uh, I know how to do that. Finally, number 10. Woo! My guilty pleasure on YouTube. I actually really enjoy watching Pokemon battles. My favorite person who does this is Hey Dunn. I'd also really like Did You Know channels, especially something like Pokemon Facts. I love Did You Know Gaming, Bright Sun Films. He does the Abandoned series. Thanks so much for watching those 10 random facts. If you guys want to see more random facts, make sure to let me know in the comments below. And let's continue on with the vlog. Die cake complete. Before I go off on my trip, I need to grab some necessities, so we're gonna head off to Target. Oh look, Moana's gonna be everywhere. I should look for Moana. Moana cheese it? No. Moana Tim Tams? Moana gingerbread house or gingerbread hut? Moana oyster crackers? Where's all the Moana stuff? According to Target, it's very Christmas time. <gasps> they have a BB-8 one. Oh yes. Oh man, Elf on the Shelf now has Elf's pets that you have to buy. Wow. Oh, and you can get different clothes for your Elf and for its pets. Genius. This is a tie between Elf Polar Express. Moana backpack? Moana Harry Potter posters? Oh, here's the Moana section. It doesn't even work. The magic's gone. <gasps> that one works. Exactly what I needed. I think this pig is from Moana too. Ooh. Pet hair eraser? You gonna erase their hair? 
That's not nice. Shocking. This is still here to be sold. Wow, she takes a bath with all her makeup on. Okay, I got a little sidetracked. Let's get what I actually came here for. Extra fresh. Okay, ready to go. I think it's time to check up on the corals. Let's turn off the lights and go. It's getting dark so early these days. We need to make sure that we get to the park so Gatsby can play. Yeah? Oh no, we missed everyone, Gatsby. No one's here at the park anymore. There's one doggy. <laughs> we gotta play indoors. I gotta get Gatsby tired. What do you guys think? Do you think Gatsby did a good job? <laughs> We're gonna try some nine bot. We haven't done that in a while. Yeah, Gatsby, do you wanna go nine botting? Yeah? had this nine bat for like a year now. Gatsby! Oh, it's a mannequin challenge. <laughs> so I'm gonna make this for dinner. Phantom pork tenderloin. I hope it's still good. It's from HelloFresh. Monster portion of pork tenderloin with kale, sweet potato, and apples. It's really good. And we already know what I have for dessert. Some tie-dye cake and some tea. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. We're gonna get ready to go to bed. I need to start packing because Gatsby and I are going on a trip. My family is flying up and we are going to be traveling for the next few weeks. We'll definitely take you guys along and don't worry about the calendars. I have my friend who's gonna be shipping them all out while I'm gone. I hope you guys had a really good time watching the vlog. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Good night. Today, we will be turning this into this. Restaurant quality ramen from Instant Noodles. Before we start, we gotta go to the Asian market to grab all the ingredients. Grab some green onions, get some mushrooms, sprouts, some baby 